Hi, my name is Nate. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to access the Embark SDK from inside a React Native app. While our framework is native to iOS, you can expose its API to JavaScript by using native modules. On the React Native Developer website, there's a great series of articles on how to use native modules in iOS and Android. Basically, these allow your React Native app to launch user flows and add individual views through JavaScript. Make sure, please, to download the companion React Native sample project that's linked in the description of this video. It's going to show you what you need to do to integrate the Embark SDK into your project. Let's take a look at adding Embark as a project dependency. Now, I've opened up the iOS workspace in our sample project, and I'm going to look at the pod file. We see we've listed Embark as a dependency here, passing in our preferred version. We've also made sure to set the iOS platform version to 12. The next step is to initialize the Embark SDK. And we do this using the keys that you received on account signup, your API key and your partner ID. Now, if you look at the app delegate class inside did finish launching with options, we see we have this initialize SDK with instance name call. Here's where we pass in a bunch of useful information to connect your app to the Embark platform. Here we can pass in your remote config ID or your partner ID and your API key. Now, if we'd rather not manually enter these keys, what we can do is call a simplified version of this initialize method, relying on a Embark-info plist file where we can manage these keys. We have a couple of useful classes in this example project. The first is React Embark. It extends React Event Emitter and conforms to the React Bridge module. Now, if we take a look at the implementation of this, we see we're, we're actually exporting this module to React Native along with the individual methods that we'd like to access in our project. We also have a couple of UI helper methods or helper classes. Uh, this one, React Embark View Manager, extends React View Manager and serves up instances of the Embark controller view. Now, this Embark controller view allows us to pass in a screen ID. It will construct a remotely managed screen from this ID, wrap it in a UI view, and serve it to our React Native view hierarchy. Now, if we were to run this app, we see we have our React Native app here. We launch the flow, and what we're looking at right now is remotely managed UI that's being instantiated through the Embark framework. We can pass through this onboarding flow. We'll enable notifications later. And once it's done, it closes and passes control back to the React Native app. Now, if we were to open up Visual Studio Code and take a look at some TypeScript and JavaScript, we'll notice a couple of useful files. The first is Embark Interface, which is a simple interface that makes note of all the exposed methods that we've set up in our native modules. We also have Embark View, which allows us to pass a screen ID to the Embark framework and get back an Embark View controller wrapped in a UI view. Now, we also have an example of how we launch this, this uh, onboarding flow that we just went through in the simulator in landing screen. So in this view, we have what's called an Embark button, which is just a simple button we've created. And we've added a on-press event handler to it. And we make a couple of SDK calls. The first is to track flow start. This tells the SDK we want to track all sorts of events that happen on the onboarding flow. So any button taps, any navigation that happens, any information that's added or permissions that are granted, everything will be tracked and available through your dashboard to view. We also call present onboarding with starting view ID, passing in a starting screen ID. This also shows how we can set up tiebacks. So these are, are pieces of logic that allow us to respond to events that originate in the Embark SDK. There's a great video tutorial that I'll link to in the description that will show you what tiebacks are all about. If you have any questions about these or how to expose any other features to your app from the framework, please reach out. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks.